Hey guys, it's Elena Blake with Refine Horizons. And this is a short video that I'm going to do that shows you how to create a point table in Carlson. At least we're going to we're going to attempt to do that. I'm not sure uh, how fabulously it's going to pan out. <laughs> so, uh, we switched at my company about a year and a half ago from Civil 3D to Carlson Survey and um, I really like it. I like BricsCAD better for finished drafting, but we do all our surveyish kind of stuff in Carlson Survey, and it's good software. The tech support at uh, Carlson is unlike uh, any any company, any other company I've ever uh, dealt with, purchased software from. So those guys are fantastic. I encourage you to check out Carlson Survey if you get a chance. Um, I can't say enough good things about about the folks over there at Carlson. They just they do a fabulous job. So I want to do, um, and I don't say that a lot. <laughs> so um, they are they are worth every dollar um, and more, way more. That get, we get way more value than we pay for there. Uh, so I want to do some more videos on Carlson Survey. Um, I tend to be a little bit partial to BricsCAD, so most of my videos are about BricsCAD. But uh, Carlson Survey has a lot of really really good features, really cool features, and so um, I need to do some more videos. So I'm going to start with this video on point tables. Okay, so in order to get a point table to work, you got to have a drawing set up with a, a coordinate file, and uh, so I did that. So I opened up our template here at RH for Carlson, and I, I set the uh, coordinate file, and I'm going to go ahead and import my points now to the to the coordinate file. So I'm going to import this control file here. tells me that it read in the points. If you want to make sure they're in there, you can go to your points menu list points. So you can see here is my points from my point file. This is all the primary control for this job. Now you'll, you'll notice one thing I did is I went in and I cleaned up the point descriptions. Um, you know, a lot of times when we get descriptions coming right out of the field, they've, they've got our feature code, so they've got abbreviations and, and kind of some survey jargon. And typically when you're doing a point table, you, you want a human readable <laughs> human readable description, something, you know, something that could be read by a non-surveyor. Um, so I went ahead and made those edits. All right, so now that we've got the points in there, we want to go ahead and add the table. And that is actually not under the points menu. It is under the annotate menu. Okay, uh, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to say point table, create point table. Okay, and this is uh, asking you to, to set up your point table. So you can come in here, you can pick a point group or, or screen select your points. Uh, but I'm fine with just using a number range here. Uh, this is the, the control file I want the table for or the only points in the, in the coordinate file. Okay, and then here you want to um, give it your headings. Okay, and um, you can also tell it uh, which column in the file you're dealing with. Okay, so I like mine to be in all caps. Okay, and you can set a width here and then an alignment. <clears throat> so I want my point number centered, my northing centered, my easting centered my elevation centered and I want my description to justify to the left or align to the left. Okay, um, and then decimals, we're gonna do two decimal places is fine for each of those. Um, I'm gonna tell it to go ahead and use commas, I like that. Okay, then you can set up your, um, your layers that you want. Okay, and I haven't done that yet. I don't have this set up for layers, so I'll have to do that. And you can save these settings so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And we're going to call this point table settings. Okay. All right, let's see how this looks. So we're going to hit OK. It's going to say tag the upper left corner of the table. And here's my table. Okay, so it looks good to me. Um, obviously, things aren't layered properly, uh, but it's got the right font. Now, the size here, this, this text size, You'll see is controlled by the uh, is controlled by the uh, the scale of your drawing. Oh, that's giving me the block. Let's explode that. Okay, so the reason the text is five units high is because if you go into my drawing settings, I've got this set to a fifty scale and it's drawing the text at uh, one tenth of that. 
Okay, and then if you needed to, you could come in here and edit. Okay, so let's go ahead and, and get this set up uh, for the right layers, and then we'll regenerate the table. Just walk you through that process one more time. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and do that. We'll open our uh, layer manager here. Okay, and uh, we're going to go ahead and rename this. So these are our table lines. Okay, so we're going to say survey lines point table. Okay, and then we're going to call this survey text point table. Okay, and then in my shop, you know, I usually like color 34 for text just based on our CTB file and we're gonna come over here we'll say 201 for our, yeah let's do something a little different let's do something that lines up a little better with that brown let's try 41 we've got kind of an earthy earthy color scheme on our CTB okay so then we're gonna go in we'll go in again to annotate and run that point table command Okay, and this time I'm going to go ahead and select some labels. So the table layer is going to be a lines point table. And the textile is going to be, I actually want it to use doses regular. And the grid layer, oh, sorry, that. Grid layer is going to be the lines. And the table layer is going to be for the text. Okay, I don't want to draw the headings and the grid lines. Uh, you can adjust some of these, uh, but I, I was fine with the um, I was fine with with the spacing on the table. Here's that 10% of whatever your drawing scale is. Okay, it looks like you can add a table header, so let's do that. So we're going to just call this control table. Okay, I don't think I need a footer. Okay, so now you can see it added the header, um, and we've got. Uh, everything on the right layer now. So pretty slick. Uh, the reason I did this video is that um, I checked on one of my CAD techs and, and saw they were doing a control table by hand. Um, and I was like, oh no, don't do that. <laughs> so uh, one other thing uh, to show you guys too is if you go back under annotate point table, uh, there is a way to update your point table. So if you make changes to your coordinate reference file, you can regenerate your point table. But in order for that to work, you don't want to explode this Right, you want to leave this as a block. Um, so there you go. Um, that's uh, that's how to work with point tables in Carlson. I hope you guys enjoyed watching that video, and uh, we'll do some more training videos. Thanks.